It's rare to see a hot air balloon, but 15 all at once? It all took place at the first ever Bloomington Balloon Festival, much to the delight of local balloonist and pilot, Andy Richardson. Being involved in ballooning full time, I, you know, I couldn't resist and say yes. And uh, it's turned out to be an awesome event, awesome weather. We've got our special shaped balloons here. We've got 14 other standard balloons. We've got a large line down at the tether balloon that are taking passengers up and down to give them a little taste of what ballooning is really like. Everybody's out here with a smile and it's, it's, it's been a great, great time. Oh, I can't believe the looks on everybody's faces when they see the two shapes. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see, to see how everybody looks at them. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a totally different experience actually seeing the balloons get blown up and leave the ground. The profits and proceeds from the entire event are going to go to Riley Children's Hospital and the Boys and Girls Club. So what we're doing is we're putting on a community event for people to come out, have a great evening with friends and family, enjoy great music, and then uh, the profits of that are going to charitable foundations. The event is a rare opportunity for the area's pilots to come together. As pilot Paul Felty notes, meeting fellow balloon hobbyists can be difficult. It's an older form of flight that a lot of people don't do. There's only 2,500 registered pilots in the U.S., so there's not very many people that do it around here, you know, 10, 15 people. It's a great family. All of us balloon, balloon people are uh, close-knit, and so it's nice to see friends and family again. And for Andy, it's been a wonderful opportunity for the community at large. This is my hometown, and uh, I grew up here, and I love Bloomington. It's a beautiful community, a great place to live. And uh, I also love ballooning, and to have those two together for me is a great experience. Uh, we've had uh, great support from the community, a lot of great sponsors, great, uh, great balloon pilots showing up to make it a great event. So ideally, every year in September, we would like to have uh, an annual balloon event. He loves hot air balloons. I don't think he was prepared for how big they actually are. <laughs> So he was, he was very excited to know that he could ride on a balloon and see them all go up in the sky. I remember as a kid growing up myself, uh, Bill Oliver was the one that really got me hooked on ballooning. He was the first balloon pilot in the area. And I remember as a young kid coming out to the fairgrounds in the early 90s, and uh, Bill invited me to go on my first ride. And if it hadn't have been for that, I don't know if I ever would have found the love for ballooning. So hopefully I can maybe pass that on to somebody someday.